I'm just seeing what it is. These are Athletic Magazine for Total Businesses. Okay. So these are Bible Prophecy. You guys study the Bible or? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah? Oh, good. Okay. Andy, Mark, Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So, which uh, do you have a Bible here that you study, or? I'm always interested in religion. Try and learn, you know. You guys um, believe, Je believe in Jesus, Absolutely. right? Do you Absolutely. believe in um, uh, his resurrection, his death and resurrection? Right. I've seen it around, yeah. Okay, tells you what this magazine is about, right? It says, this magazine, the Watchtower, honors Jehovah God, the ruler of the universe. Okay? okay? It comforts people with the good news that God's heavenly kingdom will soon end all wickedness and transform the earth into a paradise. It promotes, the question, it promotes faith in Jesus Christ who died so that we might gain everlasting life and who is now ruling as king of God's kingdom. Okay, that's, that's just a bit. This magazine has been published continuously since 1979 and is not non political. It adheres to the Bible as it's already. Oh, yeah. now, now, so when they write that, do they use like a wide variety of different scholars or what? Who are the, like, the people that write it? The, this magazine. Like, do they consult with different like scholars from seminars or how do they do it? They, they do a lot of research. They have okay. a, a publishing committee. Yeah. That oh. is made up of a lot of different brothers and sisters. Yeah. And, you know, they, they decide on a topic, right, uh, to cover. And they consult, they yeah. do research, yeah, and they yeah. do tons of research. Well, now, which, but those people, which seminaries do they normally come from? Like, are there some from New York? Women's seminaries. Like Bible colleges. Well, like the like, like the same areas, like where you're trained, like as scholars, like in theology. Like, do you know what I mean? We don't have that. We oh, okay. Okay, fair yeah, enough. We, we have something that's called a, a Christian Life and Ministry meeting. Okay. Uh, it used to be called a Theocratic Ministry School. Okay. We have those every week. Okay. And we, during those meetings, we learn tons about the Bible, different, yeah. different topics. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just trying to. And you're so in your understanding then. Because, you know, it's different Christian sects, right? You're understanding, who raised Jesus from the dead? Like, who would you say raised Jesus from the dead? Our Creator, Jehovah God. So, the Almighty God. The Almighty God. Raised Jesus. Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, oh, do you still have the, um, your Bible on your thing there? I want to just look one thing. So, let me ask you, because you have a lot of, what, what is your Bible made? Like, we're, you have a lot of questions, so we're... Oh, I'm fascinated by the Bible. Fascinated. Fascinated by the Bible, God, the Creator. Me, I just study the Bible. I don't like to say I'm with a certain sect per se. I just like focus on the Bible. You know what I mean? Right. Follow no, Jesus. Right. Follow Jesus. Yeah. Now in John, you got John on there, right? Like in John two nineteen to twenty two. Can I just see what your version says there? Mind if I look at it? Thanks. So let's see. Jesus replied to him, "Tear down this temple, and in three days I will raise it up." The Jews then said, "This temple was built in forty six years." And you raise it up in three days. Yeah. So but he was talking about the temple of his body. Though so when he was raised up from the dead, his disciples were called. They used to say this, and they believed the scripture where Jesus had spoken. Yeah. So I'm just reading here. So here Jesus claimed that he would raise himself from the dead. He didn't say Jehovah, mm -hmm. he didn't say the Father. So he said, I will raise myself from the dead. So I'm just thinking, in terms of like the Bible says, we see that Jesus actually claimed that he'd raise himself from the dead. Well, kind of interesting, right? It may seem that way, right? Well, no, I'm just reading for what it says there. Jesus didn't say the Father Joel said, I will raise myself up after three days. You know, you know what would be a great thing for me? If we, we can arrange uh, a time where we oh, could yeah. sort of sit down. Oh, I appreciate that. We're out from out of town. We're out of town, yeah. Oh, what do you think about that, though? The fact that Jesus said he'd raise himself up from the dead after three oh, days. Are you familiar? Just, just out of curiosity. It was just him uh, talking. To, uh, he's explaining about what was going to take place. Right. And he's he's referring to himself. Mm -hmm. So says, I will raise, this is what's going to happen. This is prophetic and I'm giving you a heads up on right. it. Right. So he said, I will raise up. This is what's going to happen to me. Right. And so, but he knows. How would he have the ability to do that, would you, do you think? I'm just trying to think from my mind. I think Jesus would have the ability to raise himself from the dead. 
well, everything he, all the other resurrections. How do you think Jesus would have the ability? Because he claimed he'd raise himself from dead. How do you think he'd have the ability to do that? I, I think it's just a misunderstanding of the scripture because, it, like you just said, uh -huh. does that make any sense? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm just taking first. I don't think Jesus lies, right? No. It, he very clearly said after three days, I will raise myself up. Yeah. And it says the temple's his body, so it but clarifies. He was, he was verse talking 21. about, he was explaining to, to the Pharisees and, and telling them that this is a prophecy that's going to take place. Yeah. Like, right. this right. is something you're going to see. I understand that. And so yeah. he, just talking about himself and what he's going to do uh -huh. at that moment, uh -huh. he's saying, I will raise myself. This is right. what's going to happen right. to me. Oh, we agree. Okay. Yeah. But he knows. Okay. Because all the other resurrections that have taken place before and after him has always been with his father's uh, Holy Spirit. But I'm just He's saying. always prayed, Father. Well, that's not what that text says. We're just trying to focus on this oh. this this okay. text, but, right? But then you. I mean, but oh, wouldn't that be blasphemy? He, if he claimed he'd raise himself from the dead, then and he's you're not going to have to ask him. Well, no, I'm saying he's not giving credit to Jehovah yeah. or the Father. He said, "I will raise myself." I'm just asking you, how does he have the power or ability to do that? But here's, here's How about you explain that? Okay, I'll explain it. I'll yeah, explain it because... That's what you want us to ask. Well, no, you ask me, so I'll tell you. The only reasonable answer would be this. The only, reason, the only person who had the ability to raise himself from the dead if he was God himself. And that's why, and that's why in John, John chapter 20, verse 28, Thomas calls Jesus my Lord and my God, and Jesus commends him for his answer. So it all matches up. Or in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So we see the only way Jesus could raise himself from the dead, as we see in your scripture there, is if he was God. For him to say he would do it on his own accord, that'd be blasphemy, because only God can raise from the dead. Right. Do you see what I mean, guys? Right. So my point is this, guys. Exactly my point is this, guys. Follow the scriptures. Put your faith in Jesus, who is Jehovah. He's part of the triune God. Because the Jesus you believe in, he can't save you on Judgment Day, on Resurrection Day. Because the Jesus you believe in doesn't exist. He's not a mere spirit creature, because a mere spirit creature could not raise himself from the dead. But thank you for your time. You. Repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ, Jehovah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. For more information on witnessing to cults and other religions, go to our website, pleasetellmethetruth.org.